Hi guys, Lemmy here. Welcome back to another art video. Today we're going to be looking at a product that I am personally very excited about. It's called the Etcher Mirror. You might be asking yourself, what is a mirror? How do I use it as an art supply? And why would I need one? All very fair questions. The mirror that we're looking at today is just another device that you can use to trace or transfer an image to another surface. You can compare a mirror to a light box. You can compare a mirror to transfer paper. It's essentially another method or device for just transferring that image. How a traditional mirror would work is that you put your artwork on one side of the mirror or your image on one side of the mirror. And then on the other side of the mirror, you put a blank piece of paper, you tilt your head to the side and you look through the mirror and you'll be able to see the reflection of your original art onto the blank piece of paper. And then you take whatever tool you wanna to use, so like a pencil, a pen, whatever, and then you trace the reflection Fair to mention is that because you are tracing that reflection, what you are drawing is going to be the opposite of your original image. And that is the idea of a traditional mirror. Now I purchased one from Amazon for just under $10 and I also received a mirror from Etcher and this one retails around I think like $35 or so. Check the website to be sure of the price. Um, and I wanted to see the difference because one is much, much more expensive than the other mirror. 35 isn't like that much to me, but considering the cheap mirror was like, I think maybe around 10 or so, it, there seems to be like a jump in price. And I wanted to see if the jump in price also reflected a jump in quality as well. So the very first thing that I did was I took the Etcher mirror and I used it simply as a mirror. And the Etcher mirror is special because it also comes with an app with a whole bunch of other features. But I just wanted to see if the basic functionality of it as a mirror was as good, if not better than the cheap mirror. After using the two of them, the Etcher mirror really beat the pants off the cheap mirror. So there was a few things that I can readily point out, and that being that the Etcher mirror is on a tilt. It's on a stand that tilts the glass so that you can sit upright in your chair and not have to tilt your neck. So it's a lot more comfortable to just look downward and see the reflection instead of tilting your head to the side and keeping your head cocked to the side. Um, another thing to mention is that the reflection you can see a lot more clearly. The cheap mirror is a dark blue, it's hard to see through, it's hard to see the reflection, but the clear Etcher mirror, it's really easy to see through. For some reason, I'm not really sure why this is, but the cheap mirror makes me feel very sick when I look through it. Um, they might just be made out of two different kinds of materials, but for some reason the projection that the blue mirror sends out makes me feel very ill after a while. Where the Etcher mirror, I can look through it and not feel any sort of discomfort. So that's a major bonus. Just as a basic mirror, this thing really outshines the cheap mirror. You'll also see that the quality of the transfer with the Etcher mirror is a lot higher than the quality of the cheap mirror. It's simply because it's really difficult to see through the cheap mirror. I couldn't really see where I was tracing. And since it was so dark, I had difficulty seeing where my lines were, where the Etcher mirror, I could see a lot more clearly what was happening. And I spent the same amount of time on each image with each mirror, but one looks five million times better than the other. And all of that's just basic functionality of mirrors. But what makes the Etcher mirror special is that it comes with an app. And this app is super duper amazing. So you know how I said earlier that you will be tracing the reflection onto a piece of paper so everything will be backwards? The app will flip your picture horizontally, kind of like if you think Photoshop flipping horizontally, it'll put it backwards so that 
what you chase onto the new piece of paper is the original image, which is really super cool, really super convenient. You can also resize the image in the app. You can make it larger, you can make it smaller so that what you're tracing onto your fresh piece of paper is the appropriate size that you want. The app works on your phone, it works on your tablet, and you can take pictures of whatever in your environment, use the settings of the app and change things around so it looks like a sketch, and then you can transfer it onto a blank sheet of paper. The app is really cool. You can save images after you've edited them. You can lock things in place so they don't move. And it's especially cool because for some reason, when the screen lights up, because this mirror was specifically developed to work with the app, when you have the screen lit up on your, your electronic device and you're transferring it onto the piece of paper, it's a lot clearer and it's illuminated. So let me explain why that is so amazing. You can transfer anything onto any color paper. So you can work on black paper, brown paper, any sort of tone paper, colored paper. The illuminated image will appear on those papers and you can trace it and it's no problem. This is really great because I'm used to using a light box and when I use a darker piece of paper, I can't see through it, the light doesn't come through, so I can't trace my lines onto a darker sheet of paper. But this mirror will just put the reflection onto your picture for you and it doesn't matter what color paper it is. It doesn't matter if you've already drawn something on the paper or not. Maybe you wanna add to a painting or a picture, you wanna put a flower on top of something. You can just project that flower onto your painting and keep going. And I think that that's absolutely amazing and really easy to use. And I think it's super cool that they came up with this idea to have the mirror work with an app. Now, is this like the end all to all tracing methods? Like, is this superior to the light box? Is it superior to tracing paper or a projector? And honestly, I'm just going to be very, completely brutally honest in that this is not the end all to all tracing. I think that each device or each method has its own strengths and its own weaknesses. If I'm making something really super huge on the side of a wall, maybe I'd use a projector, you know? Maybe I'm making a really, really large painting and I have a very small phone, so I don't want to keep moving this enlarged image around on my phone. Maybe I would just use tracing paper because it would save Save time. Um, if I'm working on very thin paper, like marker paper, and I just want to transfer my sketch onto a, that marker paper, I would probably use a light box. But I think that this mirror has a very specific strength, and that is that you can you can illuminate your sketch or your drawing onto any surface. So if it's a canvas you can just project it onto the canvas using the mirror and, and transfer it that way. Or you can't use a light box, or it might be a pain to use transfer paper. It's just quick, easy, use the mirror and you can draw something on your canvas. If I wanted to use watercolor paper, I wanna make a watercolor painting, but the light box, the light isn't coming through, the paper weight is too thick. I can just project it using the mirror onto the watercolor paper, which it's small enough that I wouldn't feel the need to break out tracing paper, and I could just project it onto there and enlarge it, make it smaller, do whatever I want, and then I have my sketch that I'm going to paint. If I'm drawing on black paper or brown paper and I just have a design I really like, it's already completed, I can just use the mirror and put that image onto the dark paper and have no problems. Paintings that, a canvas that has an underpainting on it and it's like a dark brown or something, you can just project it onto there and, and trace it. I feel like the, the Etcher mirror is just, the answer to a lot of problems, a lot of inconvenient problems that I would have, and it's a quick and easy way to trace. Are you going to get a perfect transfer of your artwork every time? And I think for all methods of tracing, that's just not true. Whenever you transfer something, you lose something in the transfer. It's not 
perfect. Um, with a light box, I often have very <laughs> weird looking results. Um, <laughs> with transfer paper, not always much better. <laughs> the mirror, similar sort of results. It transfers the bulk of what you've drawn out. And then maybe you might go back and be like, hey, I forgot to put this line here or something. Or like, oh, I forgot an earring or this little detail here. Something you might want to change to make it look more like the original. But that's that's me for every method of tracing that I've ever <laughs> I've ever done. So just want to be brutally honest here so that you're not going to get a perfect transfer. And maybe you can, maybe you transfer perfectly with a light box and every other method. But for me, this is just on par with light box and transfer paper. Um, it's like the same sort of stuff to me. Next question I would have is, is it worth the money? Is it worth like, I think it's high 30s. So maybe like $40. I'm just gonna estimate $40 because I, I know that or it's around this time that this mirror is coming out and I'm not really sure what the price is. Um, but I just wanted to give like the item a chance. If it's $40, which I think it's around that price, I would buy it. I mean, I have it for free, I won't go buy it, but if I didn't have it and I knew how good it was, I definitely would spend the money because I'm so tired of being frustrated with with transferring onto darker paper or watercolor paper. So this is gonna make my life a lot easier and I think $40 is definitely worth it just to cut out all of that annoyance of trying to transfer. Honestly, I wouldn't even give the cheap mirror a chance. I wouldn't spend the $10 on that cheap mirror. It made me very, very sick. Um, you might be thinking, well, I'll get the cheap one to see if I like it, then I'll get the etcher one. And if that's the case, like, don't even waste your money on the cheap one because, I mean, I have it here. I don't know what to do with it. I, I guess I'm gonna throw it out. I mean, I feel bad that I, I bought it. But I bought it for this video so that I could give you guys an educated review if this is worth your money or not. If you're going to look into getting a mirror, definitely, definitely get the etcher mirror because I feel like it's just a waste of time otherwise. None of these other mirrors come with any sort of app and the app really adds an extra level to the usability of the mirror. Like it's just so really innovative. So I have to say thank you to Etcher. The quality of Etcher's products are always above everybody else's. When they said, hey, take a look at this mirror, I was thinking, okay, this is a mirror, but what did they do to it? Because I knew there had to be something special about it if they're going to make a product. So these guys always have really great quality from their bags to this mirror. The, the item is just really great and it has great functionality and I'm going to be using it in the future. So thank you so much for giving this to me for free in exchange for this review. Well, I don't know if it's obvious to you guys, but I'm not making anything off of this video. And I know I'm like super advertising right now. Like I feel it in my bones. I feel like I'm harassing a customer that just came in my store, right? But I'm just, genuinely excited about this item and I don't want anyone to be like god she's really trying to sell it to us because honestly it doesn't impact me if you buy it at all but I'm just genuinely excited that this thing exists and I wanted to share it with you maybe 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 you would like it too <laughs> I'm gonna get going. I hope you guys like this video. And if you have any questions, you can leave them in the comments section below. I'll try to get back to you. I'm not gonna be checking this video for the rest of my life, but if you guys have any questions, I'll try to answer them as long as it's close to when I uploaded it. And maybe if you wanna check out the mirror, you can do so. I will have a link down below to their website where you can click on it and read all about it. I hope you guys have a wonderful week. I'll talk to you again soon in another video. You guys take care of yourselves.